parts out because I was doing a, a short intro on my covers because I got to looking back at 30, 30 seconds is way too long. So I figured, hey, while I got everything out, I'll go ahead and, and do a drum tour. I like watching those and seeing what other people have. And I'm going to keep it short and, and to the point. I've seen them ri uh, rattle on for 10 minutes. I don't care. I just want to see what you got, you know. So I'm going to keep it simple. And uh, I know I don't talk very much, but uh, this is what I love to do. I just, I just love to come down here and play. And uh, I know I haven't made a video in a long time, and she's partly the reason why. Um, had some things happen this year, and uh, making drum coverage just went to the very back of the list. So uh, anyway, uh, what I've got is a four-piece Gretsch Catalina Club Jazz in the natural finish. This here is just an add-on from my old set. And I got used to playing the one up two down style and I really love it. So if I had to do over again, I kind of would have bought the rock edition because it has the two floor times, but oh well. Um, but this is a Pearl Export 16 inch from about 1985. It's a seven piece. That's my old set and they got a lot of history and I, I just can't, I can't part with them. So uh, they're really what I first, had a lot of firsts with them the first time I played at church. Uh, really practiced a lot with them so they got a lot of history with them and uh, they're not going anywhere so uh, but anyway it's a four-piece Gretsch Catalina Club Jazz it's a 14 inch snare 12 inch mounted tom 14 inch floor tom the size is a little bit smaller but that's because it's the jazz edition and I wanted a smaller setup because I knew that I would probably be moving them around and I can't take up a lot of room in the house we don't have a huge house but uh, what we got is enough. Um, I got Evans EC2 heads on all, everything. They're all clear. Um, Evans G1 resonance. Uh, I got an Evans EMAD on the kick. Um, I use all Zildjian cymbals. Uh, in my opinion, there's some of the best cymbals you can buy, some of the most uh, versatile, as well as you know, uniform. Um, 13 inch A custom hi-hats. I like the smaller size to just give that more definition. You know, it's not so so washy, I guess you could say. Um, custom hybrid splash K, 11 inch. Love that little splash. Uh, A custom rezzo, 17 inch. Love that symbol as well. K custom fast crash, 18 inch. This is actually my brother's that I'm putting to good use. And uh, I love that symbol. It's it probably one of my favorites, if not my favorite I've ever played. Uh, a custom ride, 20 inch. I actually use that as a crash. Uh, a series 10 inch splash. 21 inch A series sweet ride. Uh, actually, this is my third ride, and this is probably the one I'm going to stay with. I started with a ZBT 20 inch that just got me by. That's all it was. Uh, upgraded to a 22 inch uh, Piesty Alpha Rock Ride. Had a great ping to it, but it would just build and build and build and just kind of overtake everything. So I had to, I had to send it on. Um, I used DW5000 double pedals, which I hardly ever played double pedal because I'm not good at it. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Um, I used Promark Shearing. Sherry Cashy Oak, I guess you could say. 747 Series Sticks. Love those sticks. Those are my favorites. Um, got a GoPro for the overhead shots. Two Nikon DSLRs. Um, some umbrellas. And I got one overhead mic that I'm, that's all I'm ever going to use because we're not... Uh, I'm not going to spend money on a mixer and drum mics and all that because this is just for leisure. I'm not gigging or nothing. Um, so... I mean, that, that's as far as I go with that. Um, but that's it. I just wanted to do a quick rundown, just various hardware, PDP, uh, whatever, you know, whatever gets the job done. I think that's a Pearl stand. That's a Pearl hi-hat stand for my old exports. It doesn't matter. I mean, the hardware doesn't break on me, and it's, it's solid enough. I don't, I don't beat the snot out of stuff. Um, but... 
that's what I use and uh, that's what keeps me sane. <laughs> so I will uh, start working on some some more songs and I got I got two in mind that I'm pretty close to having uh, acceptable, I guess you could say. So that's it. <laughs>